वेलकम बैक माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस स्टार्ट आर फोर्टी सिक्स लेसन एंड सिंस वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद द पोइट्री सेक्शन एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज पनिशमेंट इन किंड गार्डन एंड इट इज अ पोएम बाय कमला दास फर्स्ट लेट एस हैव सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोइट्रेस कमला दास शी वॉज बॉर्न ऑन मार्च थर्टी फर्स्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर इन केरला she is recognized as india's foremost poets as a very popular poets of india she wished to begin writing and her husband madhava da supported her decision once she said these are her words that there was only there was the only kitchen table i would cut vegetables and after all the plates and things were cleared i would sit there and start typing so she had a great in- enthusiasm for writing but at the sh- same time she had to work a lot she had to work very hard to achieve her dream and ultimately she became one of the greatest we can say poets of poetesses or poets of india when we look at her writings her writings are about her exploration of womanhood and love mostly women are the main topics of her writings in 1999 kamla das converted to islam and she was named as sreya begum but in the world of literature she is famous as or she is known by the name of kamla das she died on Thirty first May two thousand nine in Pune. Our today's poem, "Punishment in Kindergarten," it is a poem about a painful experience of her childhood. In this poem, the poetess looks back at her childhood and recalls an incident of her school days and describes it with delight, vividly and with delightful images. the poem starts with when kamla das is a grown up and she has peace and confidence she is the master of her own world she can do whatever she likes to do and even she says that she doesn't uh, need she doesn't have any need to remember that particular day when she was so harshly rebuked or scolded by her teacher when one of the beautiful days of her life it was a fine and a beautiful day of her life it was completely spoiled we can say by her teacher and without having any fault of her of the child so it was that it was a fine day of her life and the class kamla das along with her her classmates they were on a picnic then that time she was in her kindergarten and right from her childhood she was a very shy and sensitive girl and on that particular picnic day she was enjoying her day in her own way and she was she had kept herself aloof from other kids and she was just enjoying her day in the company of the nature smelling the flowers and playing with the grass and when her teacher saw all this that she is not mixing up with other uh, her classmates she started rebuking her and she used very harsh words against her that you are an unusual type of a girl and all that and and because um, uh, you didn't mix up with your classmates and these words of her teacher they were really very bitter words and they were full of anger so when she used such harsh words against a sensitive shy little girl this girl really felt very painful and her whole day her whole we can say a very precious day we can say a fine day it was completely destroyed or it was completely spoiled so she started weeping and the poet is also says that when she was weeping her classmates who were that time enjoying with each other when they saw her weeping they saw her crying 
they were staying in a group they laughed at her they were sipping sugar cane they were enjoying their day they started laughing at her because she was being rebuked by the teacher and in order to hide her face from their glances in order to keep herself from away from their stares from their glances from their stares she hide her face in the sun warmed grass and when she and because she was now she was deeply pained even first thing she was pained due to her when her teacher rebuked her and second also when her classmates they laughed at her so she says that children are really we can say that we funny creatures because they get pleasure out of others is pain so in order to hide her pain she experience she hide her face in the sun warmed grass and there she smelled the pain there was pain in her heart but at the same time she was experiencing the smell of flowers and that smell of flowers they were providing her pleasure so as an adult we can say that she has that peace and confidence and she says that life really is a mixture of pleasure and pain just like she felt that particular day when she was rebuked by her teacher she was experiencing pain and pleasure at the same time and now as an adult she says the words of her teacher and the laughing faces of her classmates they have become they are in her memory but that memory has become dim that has become hazy because the years have passed and the life then moved on because life doesn't come to a halt at a at just one painful experience it moves on so her life also moved on in her life and then there were certain moments in her life which were really where she wanted that which were full of a pleasure and she wanted that life should stop there and there were certain moments also in her life where she felt a lot of pleasure a lot of pain and she wanted that it seemed to her that maybe life will stop here but she says as an adult that now she had learned this thing that life doesn't stop at any moment neither at pleasure nor at pain the the main thing is that life moves on but as an adult she has found an adult mind she has found an adult peace and now as an adult she says said that there is really no need to remember that picnic day when she was laying by hedge by sun warmed grass and she was watching the sun in the sky standing lonely in the sky and just like sun was there lonely in the sky she was also feeling the same thing that she is lonely here bearing all that and there was there is was really nobody to care for her neither her teachers nor her classmates so this is overall what we can say the summary of this poem and we can say that she has learned uh, no doubt that was maybe the um first painful experience of her life and that's why it left such deep impressions on her mind and then she converted that painful experience into a very beautiful poem but as an adult she also says this thing that the, that life after that were after that incident life then moved on and it taught her that there that life is a mixture of both pleasure and pain and that the rule of the life is that it moves on it doesn't come to a halt so no doubt memories are there and they become fade or they become dim with they fade with time or they become dim with time they, but they are there but at the same time they don't cause us as much pain as they caused us for the first time so in our next lesson we will and this poem also add, i will also add here one thing that this poem is contains three stanzas and also we will discuss then in our next lesson we will discuss stanzas one by one we will and we will discuss the lines we will discuss the stanzas one by one so this was all for today have a nice time have a great day